Welcome back to ETVU Extra here each Wednesday from noon to 1 p.m. on the ETVU Sportsnet talking Tiger Sports. And we're broadcasting live from the first floor of the Ornello Student Center right down on the stage in the Huffman Student Activities area. And glad to have students here eating lunch and visiting and, and also studying as well. Glad to have them a part listening this afternoon as well as you on the Internet. We're joined now by Kendall Roberson, a senior on the ETVU Tiger football team. And, of course, this past Saturday, the Tigers won their homecoming game 46-13. And, and Kendall, I, I just asked Coach Ergel, and folks probably heard it, you know, how unique was your performance with 420 yards on 33 carries and five touchdowns. I know you've never done that in your career. What did it, as you got back after the ball game and got back to the, the residence your residence hall, what was going through your mind about what happened Saturday at Ornell's? Oh, uh, well, it took a little bit for me to understand what they were telling me, 400 plus yards. And I mean, just like you were saying in three quarters, it's kind of unbelievable just to hear it, you know, and, um, you know, my praise is, it goes to the O-line and the receivers, you know, they do a great job. And uh, just like coach was saying, you know, most of the guys will never hear their names, but, um, you know, they come to work every day, and I mean, 400 plus yards. You know, that's that's with the help of everybody on the offense, uh, specifically the O line. You know, they just did a great job um, holding up blocks and in, in the mud. You know, you, you expect a game like that, maybe not <clears throat> as big as that, but I mean, running the ball, we knew what we we're going to have to come out and do. So, um, you know, my praise goes to the O line and to the receivers that done the job. But a, a, as a running back going into the game Saturday and knowing it was going to be muddy and sloppy, we like going. I should get the ball today because we're going to run a lot. I mean, what, what was your mindset to get ready to, to deal with the adversity that was going to happen on the field weather-wise? Well, we knew uh, we had to eliminate all the uh, external things that we couldn't control. So pretty much it was just uh, do what we do best, uh, eliminate all those factors, and, and just play uh, Tiger football. You know, this is what we practice for. This is what we're used to throughout the week, overcoming a death in any situation that happens. And, uh, you know, whether it was me, it could have been Jay Mack, it could have been uh, any other running back. You know, we, uh, we really just pride ourselves on – um, yak yards and, and just continue to be the best that we can be. So um, it just it happened to be my day. I, I was blessed, you know, uh, but it easily could have been anybody else uh, in the backfield. But uh, again, you know, uh, just eliminating the external factors, you know, and the things we couldn't control, we just played our football and it turned out for the best. I think all of us who follow football know that your performance goes back to your offensive line. But what else was working for you? Obviously, the line was giving you the holes, but what else was working for Kendall Roberson to, to get that edge or to take that bump and get on out and down the field and score touchdowns? Uh, it's kind of like whenever you're like a, like a kid, you know, you, you play football in the yard, you know, and uh, you have fun with your brothers and your cousins, and it's like throw-up tackle, you know. You just don't want to – you, you got to have good balance and good speed. So um, as long as the front line took care of the job, which they did all night um, – the rest of the yards, uh, it took care of itself, you know, great balance and, and just being a ball player, you know, that's what we do, it's what we recruited to do. So, um, I mean, you know, I was, I was blessed to have a good night and it was just fun, you know, more, than, more important than anything else. Anytime you win, it, it, it makes the whole, whole thing fun. And, and so that's, that's pretty much what it was. Now, I've watched some of the highlights from the game, obviously, and, of course, you got a lot of great downfield blocking. And I saw an interview you said you were getting gassed on one of those runs and you're very appreciative of the downfield blocking because it helped you. How, I mean, we're... Uh, I'm not a running back, so I don't know. I mean, when you get going 60, 70 yards, do you kind of like run out of steam a little bit? Yeah, uh, usually in this offense, you know, we try to go fast as we can. So, um, you know, you're, you, you won't be shocked to get the ball two to three, four times in a row, you know, which is great. But, you know, on them third and fourth times you get the ball, you know, you're running and, and it takes those receivers, you know, the uh, Derek Ledettes, the X-Gray and, and TB to look up and you see them guys like, you know, come on, let's go. You know, I got you. <laughs> so it, it helps. It helps. It, it, it makes it a lot more easier for you to like, okay, let's finish this run. And um, they do a, a great job, you know, just to uh, help me finish on the long runs when, even when I'm gassed. So um, it, it, it's very enjoyable, you know, to see your brother selling out for you. So it makes you want to work hard. Well, now you face Solaral State University traveling to Alpine. Uh, tell me a little about what you know about the defense that you're facing. Now, don't give off any of your tricks you know because we don't want to tip them off because they'll probably watch this later on YouTube. But uh, what's ahead for the Tigers as you face Solaral State? Um, you know, we, we want to stick to the basics of what we know, but uh, we just want to make sure that we're very um, uh, cognizant of uh, ball security. You know, these guys are really good. I think they're uh, top in a division right now of uh, forcing turnovers, so we've got to be very thorough with handling the football um, so, you know, we've really been preparing and really, um, you know, being above reproach on that kind of thing in the football game. So, um, you know, we're going to do what we do, uh, play our game, and, uh, you know, it's going to come out the way we hope. You know, we're, we're going through a great week of practice right now. The coaches have done a phenomenal job um, helping us be prepared. So uh, we just want to make sure that we're on our end as players. We're very thorough with the job that we got to take care of, and, you know, we'll 
we'll see how this uh, plays out. Have you made the trip to Alpine before? I have not made the trip to Alpine Okay, before. so uh, for those who've been to Alpine before, it's a long way. Be, yeah. uh, bring some good music to listen to and watch a few movies and try to keep loose on that bus. But uh, we wish you and your Tigers the best this Saturday as Thank you me. travel to Alpine. Thank you so much. Kendall, once again, congratulations on Thank a great you. performance. Of course, you heard him say it's all because of a team and the teamwork and the offensive line open the holds for him. Well, coming up next on E2 Extra, we'll talk to another Tiger football player. We'll talk to senior Tyler Bates. It's next on E2 Extra as we broadcast live from the Huffman Student Activities Area on the campus of East Texas Baptist University. Back in just a moment. 